So next on today's whirlwind of um, quick uh, 18650 mech tube reviews is the first clone of the afternoon. So it is the Sub Ohm Innovation X. So the Sub Zero X mod um, comes in some very very convincing packaging. So this is the SOI X box with all your bits and the RDA comes in an equally convincing package they've got seriously they've gone to town in terms of the um, the kit that you get with it so you even get the SOI sort of um, tool get lots of o-rings lots and lots of spare screws lots of spare bits allen key etc um, and I don't know that this differs a huge amount from the authentic to be quite honest um, but yeah, that's the RDA. That's the packaging that the RDA comes in, should I say? And then packaging for the other piece um, doesn't have a huge amount in it. It's just this other piece, which I will go to in a moment. But it comes with all of the information on the back that you would get on the authentic. Um, so you know, in terms of this particular mod, it's designed as a sort of a proper competition mod but it is supposed to be a bit safer so it does have your short circuit protection I mean it's not really it will just won't fire if you've got it the wrong way around um, but in terms of the mod itself it's a bit of a different design to the mods that I've used in the past obviously this is a clone but um, let's take it apart and I'll show you all of the bits and pieces and we can go through it so if I just go to the RDA to start with. So you, it comes with quite an interesting setup. So there is the dripper. It's got a 510 pin as you can see, all very clever. It comes with a rather sort of weird conical drip tip in the first instance. I've changed it out for this sort of goon style one and yes it will fit your 810 goon drip tips. Um, it's got um, these holes in the bottom which you would use your tool with to unscrew so you can make it into a hybrid so you've got that connection there. Um, what you would then do is if you want to use the mod as a, hy as a hybrid mod for any other devices you have this top cap here. So you screw that on, and there you go. You could put anything you want on there, like your goon, for example, or indeed that one. However, if you want to run it without that, you can unscrew this pin here, remembering that that's a contact already. Unscrew this top piece, and then you can directly put your battery, your RDA, onto the tube. So you've got a direct contact, so it is a true hybrid. Um, in terms of the dripper itself, a bit of an older build on there, so I've been using it for a little while, but you've got absolutely massive posts. You can fit massive builds in here. I mean, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven wrap um, fuse clapped in, in there, and it's dwarfed. So if I can get a bit of right on that for you. It's going to focus for us. Yeah, maybe not. Oh, well, never mind. Um, but you've got nice O-rings at the top, so it snaps on well. Um, you've got four airflow holes around the sides. It only does a single coil, a uh, dual coil though, unfortunately. Well, it doesn't really matter to me, to be honest. Um, but I always close off one side, one hole on each side because actually it's quite a lot of, quite a lot of airflow actually. Um, in terms of this, you have got the option for interchangeable sleeves, so you can take this out, um, and you've got venting down here, which is always nice to see. This is, as I said, it's a clone and this has got a clear coat on, so you're starting to see some scratches on it, but it won't patina yet unless I take the clear coat off. 
Um, also, just another thing to point out in the hybrid top cap for the um, for the, the the 510, you've actually got some insulation, which is nice to see. Let's pop that away. And then comes to the interesting part. So the, the switch. So to put your battery in, you unscrew this. So it's got a big positive on there. Obviously your sleeve won't come off now, which is good. And it's actually got a Delrin or plastic lining on the inside. So your battery wraps shouldn't be an issue. Obviously I don't advocate not having good battery wraps. But if you did have a problem, then you're a little bit safer. You've then got, you can see all the way through to the top of the dripper. And in fact, if I unscrew that, you can see it going. Um, so you place your battery in, negative facing up. Take your switch assembly, which is got a spring loaded mechanism. Screw that in as far as it'll go to take up for your battery rattle. And then, boom, we're firing. Now, another clever thing with this is you've actually got a locking mechanism on there. So, to lock it or unlock it, you pull it out, you push it back, and it's not firing. Unlock it, push it back in, and you sort it. On the bottom, you've got your SOI logo, SOIX. And um, yeah, that's about it with it. Absolutely massive juice well in this. This is 25 millimeter around tube. So it accommodates this massive dripper. Um, but as I said, you can put whatever you like in this bad boy and you're not going to have any problems at all. Apparently it's <clears throat> 96 millimeters in length. I imagine that's with the 510 top cap. Um, but yeah, I quite like it. The only thing that concerns me, and I imagine is different from the, the authentic, is that the switch is a bit wobbly. So if you put it on a desk, it, it gives a little bit of a rock, so it doesn't make it feel like it's necessarily such a quality product. But actually, it's not a bad old tube. I haven't had any hot button, I haven't had any hot tube, I haven't had any issues with it whatsoever, actually. Yeah, it's all good. But yeah, so that is the SOIX and the SOIX RDA. Really, really nice bit of kit. So thanks for joining me today for these three reviews. Um, and I will be back to you again at another point soon. Um, I've got to do a few other dripper reviews. I want to do the Armageddon properly um, and I'll also want to show you this again at some point. So this is the Underdog Limited Edition from Cloud Chasing Club. Um, but I haven't got time to do that today. But um, thank you very much for your time and I will see you again soon.